Hey, it's Andy with IT Supplies. One of the key markets for Epson's P6570 and P8570 printers is the volume, poster, and photo market. With a production six color ink set, available bulk inks, dual roll auto switching, and an improved borderless collection system, the features of this printer are designed for high productivity. But what if I told you that you could squeeze even more speed out of your printer while reducing your paper usage with only a few clicks of your mouse? Stay tuned. Epson P-Series aqueous printers are designed to print fully borderless finished posters. This means that the printer will allow you to print all the way to the edges of the paper and also automatically trim the top and bottom of the paper. The finished poster is ready to roll up and ship to your customer. But there is some nuance involved in tuning your rip and printer to do this most efficiently. Let me explain. While generating borderless prints on the P6570 or P8570 is easy, doing it at production scale has taken a lot of trial and error. Today, we will share what we've learned and show you just how much paper and time you will save by using our settings. We're going to roll the film on a side-by-side -side time lapse video using our optimized borderless single cut poster workflow on the left, and then a borderless workflow that isn't optimized for speed or media waste on the right. We're printing at four pass speed mode in both examples. The only difference is that our settings utilize the single cut feature to print one print after the next. Our optimized workflow printed these four 18 inch by 24 inch borderless posters in three minutes and 57 seconds. Compare that to the non-optimized but still borderless workflow on the right, which took five minutes and 30 seconds. That's a 29% increase in speed and throughput by optimizing your poster workflow with the settings that we're about to show you. Beyond the speed and productivity improvements, you can see the waste paper generated by a non-optimized workflow. These three and a quarter inch paper chads are generated at the front of every borderless print if your settings aren't optimized. On our 18 inch by 24 inch prints, that amounted to over two square feet of waste paper or about $1. That may not sound like much, but this is an 18% waste, and over the course of a long production run, this will really add up. So how can you achieve the speed increase of nearly 30% and the paper savings of nearly 20%? The steps and parameters needed to achieve efficient borderless prints are difficult to pin down, but once they're dialed in, they're very easy to use. So let's dial them in step by step right now. We're gonna use Onyx, since that's the rip that most of you are using. All right, step one is to create a quick set for borderless prints. If you aren't familiar with Onyx quick sets, these are a set of custom rules and parameters that you want to automatically apply to print jobs in the future. And these quick sets are often paired up with hot folders to direct files to the right printer, media type, etc. We've created one already here, 24 inch borderless posters. You would click new to create yours. Step two is to select the media group, the media name, and the print mode that you want your borderless posters to use. We've chosen, Ep chosen Epson's Poster Paper Production 210, and we'll be printing in four pass, 600 by 600 resolution. Step three is to set your maximum print area to the width of the paper that you will be printing. Be sure that you use a no margin mode, so NM mode. This is critical as otherwise Onyx will not attempt to print all the way to the edges of the paper. We've selected 24 inch NM. Below that you will set your sizing rule to width. Step four, and this one is the most important step, is to go back up to print options and find the mode that you will be using with your quick set. Ours is speed bidirectional, and turn your auto cut to on. After you select on, you need to select one cut borderless. From there, you'll click OK. This one cut borderless setting is the key to the best and most efficient way to print borderless posters. With single cut, you are printing posters right up against each other and cutting them once down the middle between them. This is what eliminates the wasted media and wasted time between prints. From there, select OK, and then select OK again 
to save and close the quick set. It's important that you don't make any changes to the quick set after adjusting your print options, as that will overwrite the auto set cut settings that you just changed. Okay, next is to set your placement strategy. So we want our placement strategy to be group jobs together. You'll click this gear to get to some more settings. You'll go to options and you need to uncheck print all rows at a time. If you don't uncheck print all rows at a time, it's gonna print all the posters without cutting between them. So make sure you uncheck print all rows at a time. Step seven, you wanna make sure that you have the correct paper and paper size selected. So you'll click this gear. And we've selected poster paper production 210 and 24 inch roll, no margin. Okay, step eight, and you won't see this on the screen. You need to size your files to the exact same size. This is another critical step and one that a lot of people miss. In order to print borderless posters, the posters need to be the exact same size. We found that this works best if you size the image before bringing it into Onyx. So make sure that your files are sized the same as one another before bringing them into the RIP. We use Photoshop to size all of our prints the same. Next, you need to bring your photos in. You can do this by clicking open and then selecting the posters that you wanna print. You wanna make sure that you're bringing them in using the quick set that you've created for borderless posters. And then you click okay. And as these rip, that'll take a little bit of time, but when those are done, you'll be ready to click print now and you'll be able to watch as your finished no-touch borderless posters fall out of the front of the printer. Those are the settings and parameters that you need to select in order to create a high production borderless poster workflow. You're ready to reap the 30% speed benefit and reduce your media usage and cost by 20% with these few tweaks. If you have questions or find that you aren't able to get your prints to come out as a single cut zero waste poster, then give us a call and we'll help you. If you print hundreds of posters or photos every week, I would love to personally speak with you. Please ask for Andy. If you found this video helpful, please give us a like and subscribe to our channel. Thanks and have a great day.